Unit 1, Lesson 2, Finding Area by Decomposing and Rearranging. Number 1, the diagonal of a rectangle is shown. A. Decompose the rectangle along the diagonal and recompose the two pieces to make a different shape. Any of these shapes would work. B. How does the area of this new shape compare to the area of the original rectangle? Explain how you know. The new shape has the same amount of area as the original shape because they are both made from the same two pieces. Number 2. The area of the square is one square unit. Two small triangles can be put together to make a square or to make a medium triangle. So the square is one by one, which is one square unit. The small triangle is a half a unit squared. And the medium triangle is one unit squared. Which figure also has an area of one and a half square units? Three small triangles, three small triangles, a medium triangle and a small triangle, two small triangles and one square. A totals one and a half square units, so does B, so does C, but not D. D is a total of two square units. Number 3. Priya decomposed a square into 16 smaller equal sized squares and then cut out four of the small squares and attach them around the outside of the original square to make a new figure. How does the area of her new figure compare with that of the original square? B. The two figures have the same area. Number 4. The area of a rectangular playground is 78 square meters. If the length of the playground is 13 meters, what is the width? Well, we know that the area is 78 meters, and we know that the length is 13 meters. But we don't know the width. We do know that the formula of the area of a rectangle is length times width. And since we know the length, we can plug in length as 13. The area equals 13 times the width. And since we know the area is 78, 78 equals 13 times the width. What number times 13 equals 78? 6. Or 78 divided by 13 equals 6. So the width is 6. The length is 13 and the width is 6. Inside this rectangle there would be 78 meter squares. Number 5. A student said, we can't find the area of the shaded region because the shape has many different measurements instead of just a length and a width that we could multiply. Explain why the student's statement about the area is incorrect. They can find the area by multiplying 60 by 30, then subtracting the empty square units I have identified in red.